be watching this after my uh, ultimate guide to installed uh, Graceborn. Now that I finally played the game, I noticed pairing doesn't just work straight out the box. Uh, the reason why that I didn't mention a video because once I never played the 1.13 version, and also this is not stated in their description to install parry. So, for example, if you did everything that I told you, we're gonna use this boss as a way to try to parry. Hopefully, I don't mess this up, but usually. So, if you wanted to parry, for example, that should be a parry. You can keep trying, and for some reason, it just doesn't let you, right? No matter what. Even if I do it early or late, it doesn't do it. Okay, nothing is happening. So we're gonna leave this. And I'm gonna show you what to do now. So inside your Graceborn that you downloaded, um, like again, this is only gonna have the mod engine 2 and the game files, uh, the game folder. If like you did earlier, if you did their installment rights, you will have this inside your game files. But what we want to do now is after you, like I said, in your Graceborn with everything you just downloaded, you're going to go into your game folder. And then you're going to see this crossbow parry nonsense over here. You're going to click inside that folder. Inside that folder, you will see where it says DL mods. When you click inside, you will see another scripts data exposure. This is what you also have to add in your uh, config file. So basically what you're going to do is do the same thing that you did earlier. You're going to go on top where your URL is or your path. You're going to right click, copy address as text. Then you're going to go where I already have it open, but just in case. Then you're going to go inside your mod engine 2 folder that you got from Graceborn 1.13. And you're going to go inside your config Elder Ring file. This should open up a notebook. In here, if you have my um exact like if you did exactly what i said in the tutorial uh, you may not have this because it's a seamless so if you're not playing with seamless ignore that but you should have this your path with the first scripts data exposure so if you don't have seamless if you don't have seamless um your file should look something like that simple what you're going to have to do now is right after the quotation mark, after it says DLL for the script data, you're going to put a comma. And what I like to do, like I explained, I like to press enter so it, it could go down. And what you're going to do here is copy and paste what you just copied um, earlier, your path, your new path for the other script. Make sure at the end of your letter of your hard drive, you have a quotation mark before it. As you can see right here, hopefully you can see that. Then after this, at the end, it should say DL mods. You want to add two slashes. It's basically the same method as we did earlier to add the first one. So basically, you're going to add two slashes. And now after this, you could just type uh, scripts data exposure FLS DL, just the same way that it is above, or you could just do the easier way just copy from scripts all the way to DL. And just paste it right after the two slashes. After this, make sure you have a quotation mark right after. And for most people, or like for myself, I like to just add a comma right after that, just in case I add seamless, which I will show you how it would look like if you had seamless. So again, like we did in the first video, you're gonna make sure everything has two slashes, just like above. So you see how this only has one slash? You're gonna make sure we have two slashes. So slash, slash, slash 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 and slash so now everything in here everything that has a slash it will always have another slash it will be two slashes every single time and then you can go ahead and save but if you are on seamless basically you're gonna do the same thing like i said you your seamless um dll file will also be in here the way you do that is again you just uh, press enter just just that's just how I do it quotation mark e r s c uh, dot l l and then quotation mark and then a comma 
and that should be it. And what I like to do is just press enter again so the parentheses is by itself so you know the difference. But that's how it looks like if you have seamless added. And so basically you should have two paths. One for the first script data exposure that that's inside the mod engine two mod folder. And then you will have another path that's inside where you downloaded a uh, Graceborn inside their game folder where it says crossbow parry nonsense and then inside the DLL mods folder. And then just add the script data because that's what's in there. And then again, like I said, you just hit save. Now we're gonna do the same thing again so you can see the difference. I'm not sure if this been forgotten to mention, but I noticed it was a big difference the moment I figured this out. I took about like five minutes to try to figure out what was missing and how to fix it myself. Um, but yeah, this is how I got it to fix. So I'm gonna go back and fight the same boss as you saw earlier that wouldn't let me parry no matter what. And hopefully my timing is correct so you can see the difference. Oh, sorry. Wrong buttons. See, now he could parry. So let's try this again. If I don't get hit, hello. Parry. And you can walk up to him. And that's how you fix parry. I'm not sure why the description doesn't mention that, but I figured it out just for in case some of you guys can't solve it. So again, we're just gonna wait until he goes back down. I personally did not want to dodge, clearly. I personally don't want to touch again. <laughs> okay. This guy's just doing the same thing. You know what? And then he got parried again. I'm try one more time so you can tell the difference. And parried again. Got it. Hopefully that helps.